Hi there, Psycho Enthusiasts, and welcome to another episode of Friday Psycho Best Practices. My name is Vasily Flamichev, and I'm a Psycho MVP. In this episode, I'd like to talk to you about Psycho Sorting, how it can help us make content structure much more user friendly and also help us write less code. So let's take a look. Sitecore provides somewhat of a hidden feature um, that allows us to control the sorting of the uh, child content items. If you click on any item in content, go to the home tab in your uh, ribbon and go to the sorting section, uh, or I believe the official name is a chunk, <laughs> Sitecore. So if you go to sorting chunk, and if you click uh, the little hidden icon to the right of that, um, in fact, not many people know about it just simply because it's so hidden, but it does have a function to it. So if you click on it, it'll pop up a sort order um, option selector, and which would apply to the children of the context item, the, the context item we selected before clicking that icon. So as you can see, by default, you have some options here available and you have a handy preview right below. So let's say if we want to reverse the order, uh, we can see that applied immediately and we can see what our content tree, what our child items, uh, child item list would look like after applying this um, uh, sort order. So let's go ahead and let's say we want to continue with a reverse order. Now notice we have audience about as first item. So let's go ahead and apply it. And it got reversed just like it showed in the preview. Now, here, uh, this, uh, the sorting uh, menu allows us to pick one of the sorting options that are available out of the box by default. So if, uh, if we have, a, let's say, a data set of content items um, that would make sense to be sorted by, let's say, date, uh, by name, right? If, uh, for instance, if, um, if we're working with a dictionary, um, I've seen, uh, a very common approach with dictionaries uh, to create an alphabetical uh, structure where you have um, dictionary folders, containers, uh, bearing um, alphabetical letters and under that letter you have a dictionary entry starting from that letter. So in cases like that it would be very helpful to enforce alphabetical sorting uh, based on let's say display name. Just be careful display name could be different from the actual item name. So in a case like that, it helps enforce a certain structure, certain sort order, which uh, makes it easier uh, for content authors to find certain items and make content updates, right? Uh, now, we're not restricted to having this particular set of options. Just like with most of the Sitecore functionality, um, we can customize this list. We can customize the existing sorting options, um, their behavior, or we can add additional sorting options. If you go to Google and just um, search for adding custom sorting option to Sitecore, you find a lot of helpful blog articles. In fact, one of the first ones that turned out uh, turned out for me was by Geek, uh, Geek Hive, written by Tim. Um, very helpful article with some really nice screenshots. Um, uh, it's an older art, uh, article, as you can see, it's using an older um, Sitecore version, but it's still applicable. It's still the same, the sorting uh, customization is still done the same way. Here we're adding a custom sorting option using a date compare, I believe. Yep, so we're comparing dates. So th there are many more articles um, and blog uh, posts based uh, on sorting and Sitecore, some uh, rules-based implementation or some uh, customizations around Sitecore options. So definitely take a look and simply just be aware of that if that's not applicable to your current implementation. Uh, just know that that's out there. So that's great for content authors, but how does this help us in coding? Well, uh, very frequently when we access content uh, through Sitecore APIs, we retrieve it either by um, using a direct reference, using um, child reference, we'll walk the content tree, we use XPath, we use a Sitecore query. Um, in all those cases, the data set that we get back uh, most of the time is sorted by the sort, sorting defined in the content. So they get returned in the same order as they appear in the content tree. So if we can define 
the sort order beforehand in the content tree and sort and already pre-sort our content, we don't actually need to write the line of code that does sorting in our solution at runtime. So that saves us a little bit of coding. Now it can also help with performance. Uh, some uh, sorting uh, on complex data objects on large amounts of data might take quite a bit of time. So if we already, uh, if we can pre-sort that in the content and simply retrieve that list of items, we don't need to be any. Uh, we need, not only we don't need to write any code to do that. Um, we're also saving on performance, so we're not getting that sorting penalty at runtime anymore because it's been already pre-sorted in the content for us. So as you can see, we have two benefits of uh, using sorting, and that feature is unfortunately uh, hidden and not many people know about it. So hopefully, hopefully uh, um, you understand the importance of using sorting in your solutions, and um, hopefully you can start thinking of uh, some ways you can apply that in the existing Sycor solution you're working on or the new one you're thinking of building. And uh, of course if you like this tip give, uh, give the video a thumbs up, subscribe to uh, my YouTube channel, and for more tips like this check out simsbestpractices.com and I'll see you next Friday. As always, over and out.